Once in the middle of a busy city, Jaya the juice maker was getting set up for the day. There, juice van is all juiced up. Now all I need are some customers. At Jaya's juice van there's fresh juice galore to give you a bright day. At Jaya's juice van a tasty treat to help you on your way. <laughs> Catchy tune. Jaya waited and waited, but nobody came to buy juice. That's strange. Oh, I know. I need a special loud sound so people know where my juice fan is. Later that morning, Frank the fireman heard what sounded like a fire siren. He raced towards the siren in his fire truck. Fireman Frank here. You called? Hi, Frank. I'm Jaya the juice maker. Can I get you a fruit juice? A uh, fruit juice? No, I'm here for the fire emergency. I heard a fire siren. Oh, you must mean my juice van sound. That's it. That's the sound. Oh, I'm sorry, Jaya. That sound is only for fire emergencies. Oh, I didn't think of that. So Jaya had to find a new juice van sound. One that didn't sound like a fire siren. Let's try this new sound. Well, it brought someone, but it wasn't a customer wanting juice. <laughs> Relax, everyone. Amy, the ambulance officer's here. Well, what's happened? Where's the patient? Oh, nothing's happened. There's no patient. Everything is fine. Can I offer you a fresh juice, Amy? Oh, no thanks. I heard the ambulance sound. That's why I thought there was an emergency. I'm sorry, Amy. I guess my juice fan sound is like the ambulance siren. I'll change it straight away. The next sound I tried, well, you guessed it, sounded a bit like another kind of siren. <coughs> Police officer Pia here. Heard the siren. What's the emergency? Oh, not again. Sorry, police officer Pia. It's just my juice fan sound. I'll change it. But first, how about I make you a fresh juice? <gasps> Your juice machine makes a fantastic sound! Whoa! You're right! And very soon, Jaya had a fresh new sound for his juice fan. Hope this sound works. <laughs> Now that's a great juice fan sound. You can hear it right across the city. And it sounds nothing like a siren. Yay, it worked! At Jaya's juice fan is fresh juice galore to give you a bright day. Giant juice fan, a tasty treat to help you on your way. Once there lived a queen who was the richest person in the land. Yes, I am Queen Quinella. And yes, I am the richest person in the land. The queen had used her money to buy lots of things. But the problem was, now she was, well, a bit bored with everything. I wonder what I could do today. Servants? Yes, Queen Quinella? What would you like to do today, Your Majesty? Well, I don't know. I've bought everything I want and done everything there is to do. Oh, surely not, Queen Quinella. There must be something fun to do. Having lots of money can be very cool. But it can't buy you happiness, they say. Servants tried to find something that would make Queen Quinella happy. Your Majesty, here's a lovely new expensive crown. I already have a crown. No, thank you. Well, what about a jet ski, Your Majesty? It's a little bit pricey, but it's very exciting. I already tried it. Remember, I bought one in every colour. No, that won't do. Thank you. Nothing pleased the Queen at all. The servants had pretty much run out of ideas when suddenly they heard... 
<laughs> what is that laughing sound? Oh, that's the royal jester, your majesty. Oh, bring him to me at once, please. <laughs> so the servants raced off to get Joey the royal jester. <laughs> G'day, Queen Quinella. I'm Joey the royal jester. Oh, good day indeed. Uh, what were you doing outside that was making you laugh? Oh, I was just having some fun juggling. <laughs> oh, bravo. That is very clever. <laughs> oh, want to try? Oh, yes. How much does it cost? Oh, nothing. It's free. Come on. Oh. And with that, Joey the Jester taught everyone to juggle. <laughs> <laughs> this is wonderful. Uh, so, Joey, what else do you do for fun? Well, oh, I do love a good knock-knock joke. Knock-knock. Oh. Uh, who is there? <laughs> Lettuce. Let us who? <laughs> Let us in! <laughs> <laughs> so Joey taught the Queen some knock-knock jokes. Oh, knock-knock? Who's, Who's there? there? Who? 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 Oh, you sound like owls! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joey, you have so much fun and it is all for free. Why, yes, the Things in life are free. It costs nothing to smile, laugh, and be happy. Having lots of money can be very cool, but it can't buy you happiness, they say. Now that I've got something to do that brings me joy, I would happily give it all away. She would happily give it all away. <laughs> now that Joey the Jester had put a smile on her face, the Queen and her subjects all lived very happily ever after. Knock, knock. One morning, Gracie was on her way to school when she realised she'd forgotten something important. <gasps> oh, no! I think I've left my lunchbox at home. Oh. Luckily, a famous superhero was nearby. <laughs> Never fear, young Gracie. Sir Buckethead is here. Sir Buckethead. Fantastic. I'm Sir Buckethead. He's Sir Buckethead. And I wear a bucket. He wears a bucket. On my head. On his head. I am brave and strong. He's sort of brave and strong. And I'll come. And to come. To help you. 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 Now, Sir Buckethead was an old fashioned kind of superhero. But there were some new superheroes nearby as well. <laughs> Don't worry, Gracie. Zip Zap Girl is here. I'll just zip back and get your lunchbox. Yes. Here it is, Gracie. Wow. That was really zappy, Zip Zap Girl. But that wasn't the only emergency that morning. Oh, this traffic is so bad. I think I'm going to be late for school. Never fear, young Gracie. Sir Buckethead is here. But before Sir Buckethead could do anything, there was another new superhero on the scene. Make way! It's Bam Kazam! <laughs> wow! Bam Kazam's the biggest, strongest superhero ever! Yep, that's me, Bam Boom Kazam! Need the bus moved? No problem. Ho. Ho, 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 ho. There you go. Now you can get on your way to school. Oh, wow. Thanks, Bam Kazam. <laughs> so Buckethead was starting to feel like he wasn't really needed anymore. But when another call came, he still raced to the scene. Never fear, young crazy. Sir Buckethead is almost here. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Oh, thanks, Sir Buckethead. My hat's caught in a tree and I can't get it down. Ooh. But Sir Buckethead wasn't the only superhero on the spot. <laughs> Zap! Bam Kazam! Oh, gee, it's great to see you guys. I have to get my hat down from the tree. Oh, no. I'm fast, but I can't run up trees. Oh, don't worry. Bam Kazam can help. I'll just pull the tree out of the ground and give it a shake. <gasps> oh, stop, Bam Kazam. You can't pull the tree out of the ground. Then it won't grow anymore. <coughs> Could I perhaps help on this occasion? Using my long jousting stick and a steady hand, I can reach up to the hat and bring it down. 
down there! Oh, wow. Thanks, Sir Buckethead. You're the best. What? I guess I am needed after all. Well, of course. There's no superhero like Sir, Sir Buckethead. Buckethead. I'm Sir Buckethead. He's Sir Buckethead. And I wear a bucket. He wears a bucket. On my head. On his head. On his head. On his head. I am brave and strong. He's sort of brave and strong. And I'll come. And he'll come. And he'll come. And he'll come. To help you. To help you. Help you. To help you. To help you. No! It sure is great when we all help each other. In our own special way. Once upon a time, there was a hummingbird called Heather who built herself a new nest. Oh, wow, this is a great nest. A perfect size for one little hummingbird. Little nest, it's the place to be. To keep me safe and very, very happy. Just then, Kylie the Kookaburra flew past. G'day, I'm Kylie the Kookaburra. Nice nest. Oh, uh, thanks. You can come in and have a look around. Oh, don't mind if I do. Wow. It's much bigger than it looks. Before long, Darlene the Dove flew by. I'm Darlene the Dove. Divine nest. Oh, me mate here, Heather. Oh, shucks. Well, Darlene, you can come in and have a look around. Ooh. So Darlene joined Heather and Kylie in the nest. It was a little squishy, but it was fun hanging out with new friends. Just then... Squawk! 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 Hello! 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 I'm Gary the Galah. Can I join the party? Sure, Gary. Come on in and have a look around. Yes. <laughs> Suddenly, Heather's nest was full of new friends. It was very noisy and very squashy. Can party all night. Squawk! It was beginning to get dark, and Heather was getting tired and really wanted to go to sleep. Oh, I don't want to break up the party, guys, but I really need to get to sleep. Huh? Oh, okay. So the birds all settled down for the night, but the nest was built for one bird, not four. <laughs> No good. <laughs> oh, what was that? You! Oh. oh, I'm sorry, bird friends, but I just can't get to sleep. It's too noisy and squashy with all of us in here. Oh, you can say that again. Who's sitting on my wing? Oh. Oh, I think I need my nest back. You're right, Heather. Time for us to fly home. There's no place like home. Squawk! Bye, friends. Drop in again soon. So Heather the Hummingbird was finally alone in her nest. Mm, peace at last. Birdie bedtime. Squawk! <laughs> For a moment, anyway. Winter was coming and the King of Sheba was beginning to feel the cold. Oh, it's very cold. And my woolly coat seems to be a little thin this year. How am I going to keep warm? Bah, I know. I will hold a competition for something new to be made to keep me warm this winter. And there will be a super special Sheba prize. So the competition was announced and Trixie, Dixie and Alexi Sheep started planning what they would make to keep the King of Sheepa warm. Ah! Hmm. <gasps> Maybe I could knit some woolly socks for King of Sheepa. Hmm. Oh, socks? I'd better make something different. Uh, oh, what about a warm jumper? Ah, 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 ah. 
a jumper? Well, what could I make that's different? I know! I'll knit the King of Sheba a beanie to keep his head warm. These were all great ideas, but there was one small problem. The sheep didn't know how to knit socks, jumpers or beanies. What could they do? Hmm, I need something that's really easy to knit. And really, really warm. <gasps> Aha! Click, clack, we're knitting a stitch at a time. Soft sheep wool, spun super fine. Click, clack, we're knitting, what will it be? A warm woolly surprise, just wait and see. <sighs> Done! Finished! One completed scarf. <gasps> I, I needed, needed a, a scarf, scarf too! Ah. Well, at least they're different coloured scarves. Mm. Hey, these colours are great! <gasps> what if we join the scarves together? <gasps> yeah, King Sheba can have a yellow, blue and red scarf. So the sheep worked as a team. They knitted their scarves together to make one very, very long, super colourful scarf. At a time, soft sheep wool, spun super fine. Click clack, we're knitting. What will it be? A warm woolly surprise. Just wait and see. They presented the finished scarf to the king of sheep. A warm woolly scarf, and it's in my three favourite colours: red, blue, and yellow. I love it, and it keeps me toasty warm. I declare Trixie, Alexi, and Dixie Sheep the winners of the Super Special Sheeper Prize. Yay! And the prize? A super yummy sheepy feast with the king. <laughs> well, thanks to those three clever sheep, King Sheeper stayed warm all winter long. <laughs>